Hello and welcome to this Tipco Cloud Integration how-to video. This video looks at working with Salesforce. We'll look at two examples, one where we pull data from Salesforce and one where we get data in a callback from Salesforce. To start, we need to create a Salesforce connection. You will need a Salesforce account. Let's select Salesforce, give our connection a name and click Login. We will now go through the OAuth process to authorise TCI to connect to your Salesforce account. Supply the user ID and password and give TCI the access permissions needed. Now we have the connection, we're going to get started and create our app. First we click on the Create button Provide a name for the app and click Create. We will select Web Integrator App and add our first flow by clicking on Create a Flow. We'll call the flow Get Contact from Salesforce. For this demo, it's going to be an HTTP REST service, so we'll select REST Trigger. We will specify the resource path, including the contact identifier. Select the Get method and copy in the sample JSON response, which will return some details of the contact. Click Create. So we select the flow. We can see the receive and reply tiles that the system has generated for us. We will start by moving the reply tile. Click on the plus and select the Salesforce query tile. We now tell it the connection to use and find and select the contact object. We now go to the input tab where we need to create the Salesforce query. This needs to use the Salesforce object query language format and is well documented by Salesforce. Our query is going to be made up of a static part and the value passed in with the get. We will use the string concat function to create the value from our static select and the path parameter. Now we can move on to the reply message. We can see our response format and then map it on the input tab. We start by mapping the records array to the output array data. Then we map each of the fields, ID, then first name, then last name, and finally email. Let's push the app and test it. Enter a valid ID and scroll down to see the result. Now let's create a new flow. This is going to pick up changes to the Salesforce contact object. We'll call it Monitor Updates. And we'll select a connection starter. Select the Salesforce connector and then select the contact object. Press Create. Now edit the flow. It's given us a Salesforce Receive. Here we need to configure the query to pull back the fields we need. You can see the structure of the fields that we've selected. Let's add a log message to write data to the log. We'll select the object data 
as the input to the logger. Let's push the app and look at the data it captures. When it's running, let's make some changes in Salesforce. A delete, an update, and a create of a new record. Let's speed up the video so we can see the results. Let's look in the log, and we can see each of the updates in Salesforce reflected in the log. Each action has a type. For example, here we have a deleted, and here an updated. Let's change the flow to output a message when we get a new contact only. To do this, we will add a branch and then add a log on that branch. Now we will set the condition for this branch. Let's use the event type field and see if it contains the action created. We can use the string function contains. Set the input value to the event type and the substring to create. In the log message, let's output a message saying that there is a new customer and add the record ID to the message. Let's test this by cloning an existing Salesforce contact. And in the log, we can see our alert has been triggered. Thank you for watching this short how-to video. More how-to videos and demos are available on our YouTube channel. You can find out more information by visiting the TCI area on the community site. The community gives you the opportunity to share insights with other TCI users, get ideas and updates on TCI features. From the community, you can find a link to our GitHub site. Our GitHub site has a number of projects and samples to help you get the most out of your TCI subscription. Lastly, if you have ideas or suggestions for TCI, you can submit them at ideas.tibco.com. TIBCO Cloud Integration empowers users to quickly and easily connect applications and APIs from their browser. To see how TCI can help you, sign up for a free 30-day trial at cloud.tibco.com.